Hello, this is Swiptails again, and I'm back with another computer craft tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make um, a door open by using the player detector from the mod MISC Peripherals. Uh, what I like about that block is that um, computers can read which player are actually pushing the block, which is kind of cool. Uh, the block itself is kind of expensive, but I find, find it worth it, as I can just register which players are allowed to push the block, and all the players I want to can uh, get in quite easily. Uh, the door works like this, you walk up to it, right click on the block, and the door will open. Great! Uh, it will also protect it from redstone signals, so even if you apply redstone signal, the doors will not open which I find quite quite fancy. And on the inside, uh, you have just a simple button to open the doors. And it's protected against the terminate command, control T, and if you try to reboot it, the program will just restart itself. But it is possible to get out of the terminal window by, uh, if you know the right key to push, you can get out of the terminal window. But it's only one key and no other key uh, than the defined key will actually work. And it does sound an alarm if uh, a player who is not allowed to enter uh, tries to push the block. As you see here, I have um, my name here. Uh, if I alternate the name so it's not correct and I'll uh, try to push the block, the alarm will go off. I'm not allowed in. So. This is what I'm going to show you how to make. Let's just uh, fix that again. Uh, in the end, I'll paste bin this so you can just uh, download the whole program and don't have to fiddle with it. But if you want to try and make it yourself, uh, you're very, very welcome. So, first, we have to build uh, the door like this. Uh, you can have the player block next to the door. Uh, but I like it best to have it there and you need some space below the door as well so it's, it is really compact um, so for the door and the redstone protection if you place the doors like this uh, the norm, normal way you can apply a redstone signal to open them so what you need to do to uh, prevent that is that you need to place two blocks outside because uh, if you then stand in this angle the door will actually it looks like they are, they are open but if you now apply a redstone signal uh, the door will actually close getting where I'm going cool um, so now we ha just have to make sure that these doors uh, always receives a redstone signal and the easiest way to do that is by uh, hooking up the wire like this. If you hook up the wire below the block um, and use a NOT gate, NOT gate, uh, the door will uh, always stay closed and you cannot apply a redstone signal which is quite awesome. And you need to run the wire up um, shift clicking, removes the item and you need to run the wire up to a computer that goes my screwdriver, I don't need it anymore like this and place the computer um, next to the player block. This way we can uh, control uh, the redstone signal to, to open the door and then we need a howler alarm, jump and shift click <laughs> does the trick and we need the button to, uh, to to open the door on the computer and now we just need to fill this in make it look uh, nice and tidy. Let's see and I have some covers to just make it look extra pretty and there you go looks pretty compact uh, I believe it is very compact as well so let's get into the code uh, the first thing you want to uh, want to do is um, get an array or, or a table of players w uh, which are allowed to uh, uh, to enter the door and uh, the way you define the uh, a table is like this. So say if I want whiptails to enter and say I want uh, you go let's see you go your son to enter. Uh, so in, in here you can list all players you want to um, 
uh, to enter like a bazooka guy or something like that. And then we just need um, a helping variable. Uh, as you know, I always construct my code first, my variables, then I do my functions, then I do my body code. Uh, I always make a graphical use interface, so we'll make some of my standard functions, uh, like um, draw across, we will make, and we'll make the function uh, draw centered. There we go. Uh, in the draw across, I want to specify which line to draw it on and which character, as you saw. And in the draw center, I want uh, the same line and then I want the text to be centered. In the draw across, let's see. Um, first, we have to position the uh, uh, cursor. Terminal uh, set cursor. And we want to start in the beginning and uh, on the line we want to type it. And then we do for a for loop uh, to the end of the screen. Then we need the variables for the width and the height of the terminal window. Get size uh, 2x do, and then we'll do. Uh, write the character, write the character, like that. And then we want uh, draw centered, yes. Uh, we'll do the same thing, we have to set the cursor position to the right, right place, cursor, cur, oh, Jesus, I'm blind, uh, position, and uh, we have to calculate the, the x position, which is uh, the width of the screen minus the uh, length of the string text and uh, see divided by two uh, on the line we want to do it on. Just accept that form light. Uh, it's it's working. I hope. And then we do term dot write and we write the text to the screen. Now let's. Um, uh, let's draw our heading. Uh, it's um, what did I call the function? <laughs> draw across, and we want it on line one, and we want uh, our pretty star. And then we'll do draw send red, and we want it on line two, and we want, uh, of course, whip corp security system ver version 1 and then we want to draw a cross and we want to line 3 with a star wow wow what happened there that was a lot of weird characters so let's see what this do it returns error as usual i forgot to watch which line it was and which line did you call it up on line 14? What did I do wrong? Line 14. X function, yeah. There we go. It draws the top. That's great. Uh, uh, and it's dark. Uh, now I'll show you uh, just a series of events, uh, how you actually um, uh, log all the events. Uh, so if you go into Lua, uh, and we will do uh, call uh, an event uh, with just one parameters, and always dot uh, pull event. If you do this, it, it will just w wait for an event. Uh, so what will happen if you push the redstone button on the side? That will be an event, and uh, we can see the event name is a redstone. Uh, Parameter one does not exist. Uh, okay, so let's uh, do that again and see if we can just push this uh, block and see if something happens. Yes, something happens. And the event is a player, and the parameter is well, it's me. Okay, so we know that my name is stored in parameter number one. 
Uh, was that all the events we need? Yes, that... No, that was not all the events we need. Because we need the exit button. I see? Now it's waiting for an, another event. I'll press my um, uh, letter Q. Like that, you see the, the small Q. And if I read the event now, it says uh, I did press a key. And uh, the key I pressed was key number 16. We need to rem remember that for the for the program. Edit door. Okay, um, now I want to make uh, two functions. One function to open the door and one function to close the door. Uh, function open door. Uh, just so it's easy to read the code function. Um, I, I, no, I don't need a, a closed door. I need a sound alarm. There we go. And when I op want to open the door, I want to do a redstone uh, set output on the top uh, to true. Uh, there we go. Then I wanted to keep the door open for three seconds. And then close it again. Set out put top to false. Great. Uh, I do know that I need this small delay because um, I will explain it when I get to the point. Uh, you need a very very short sleep there, or else the redstone event will be looped back when you turn off the signal. And um, <laughs> yeah, the door will just be opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing, and it's really annoying. Okay, uh, then we need to sound the alarm. Uh, it's exactly the same code, redstone, set. Mm. Um, hmm. Did you see the error? This will sound the alarm. We need to do it to the bottom. Bottom. Set output to the top. Uh, man, I could say it a lot of time if I wrote things right the first time. And I want to be extra annoying and have the alarm longer than three seconds. And we will turn it off again. And we will do exactly the same thing here. Uh, so we do not get... Um, uh, so not the redstone event will be looped back. Uh, you will see it when I make the code. Okay, we have, I believe we have all functions we need. Now we need the code to do this. Then we need a uh, endless loop. And uh, let's first make uh, the. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to to get the event, event, and the parameter one equals always start uh, pull event. Uh, let's first make uh, whatever is going to break this uh, this loop. So uh, that was if the event uh, w was a key, right? Uh, but it's not any key. It's uh, also required that the parameter 1 equals to 16, which was the um, uh, Q key. And then it will... Um, yeah, I guess we can just do, do a break. I was planning to make some... Um, you can make some text if you want to. And yeah. So that means if we run... No, um, hmm. Of course we get error on line 42. Uh, let's see... Because uh, I'm missing a then. There we go. That means if I press any key now, nothing is going to happen. But if I press the uh, the letter Q, it will exit. Great. Uh, that is actually some uh, one of the first things you should uh, should make. Because if uh, if you want to lock the computer, um, uh, we can do that uh, now. Uh, it's as simple as doing uh, OS dot pull event, and do not use these. Uh, but uh, we will do another OS dot pull event and a raw event, and this will lock the computer from terminating it, but not from restarting it. I can show you door. 
So now if I try to terminate it, uh, it will not allow me, but it will allow me to reboot it. Uh, let's uh, hinder that uh, now, because if you go into uh, Edit Startup, which is the program which, which will run when the computer restarts, uh, you can just do a shell dot run and door like this. So now, if you reboot it, you'll see a flash. Yes, and it uh, starts up again. And only you who knows the right button push knows how to get out to the terminal. Great. Uh, doesn't this? Uh, uh, it doesn't clear the whole screen. Okay. Uh, let's do something with that. Uh, edit door. Didn't I clear the screen before drawing everything? No. Turn dot clear. Like this. Okay, so we have the break. Now we need to um, know if you push the redstone button. So if event equals to redstone, then open door. Okay, so now I believe the redstone button should work. Aha! Uh -huh. Three seconds and it closes. I can sh show you what will happen if you do not have that delay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't turn it anymore. Uh, edit door. Uh, if you do not have that delay here. Uh, door. If I push this button. And when the door closes, it triggers a new redstone event and just opens the door immediately. That's why you need that <laughs> very short sleep. Oh, I was afraid I couldn't uh, unlock the computer now. Because <laughs> I had to um, make the key event uh, go before the redstone event. Let's see. Um, let's fix that as uh, soon as possible. Uh, sleep for 0 0.1 seconds. Okay, so now what is left is um, is the player block. Let's see. That means uh, if um, if event uh, equals to player, then Let's see, uh, we want to loop through the, the table, and the way you do that, uh, you start at 1, and you. there is a way to um, get the number of elements in the table, and that is like this. Uh, it's, um, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's square-ish, like this, and it will loop through all the players, and if... Uh, if players uh, like no, if players equals to parameter one, then uh, open door. Uh, 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 uh. I need to do one more thing. Uh, open door. There is a reason I made the uh, variable in the beginning. I need that one to to remember that it actually opened the door for someone. And let's see when it's done with this for loop. Um, if it did not uh, open uh, the door, then I wanted to sound alarm. There we go. I think we're done. Let's test this. Okay, so we can open it from the inside. We can open from the outside. And if we disrupt the name, edit door. Like this. It will sound the alarm. Kind of cool.
So um, yeah, I, that was the whole door. It's it's not very complicated, and I believe this is a very cool uh, security door, uh, which a lot of security measurements. Um, let's see uh, what you should do uh, with this code uh, is. Uh, in this table you just list all the players you want to have access to your current door and um, uh, in, in the way I do you do um, a, a string notation and uh, separate with a comma then a new name comma new name and everyone who is in this list have access to this door and uh, the next thing you want to do is um, down here uh, with the break yeah with the break character you can change this number to uh, to another number to get uh, another uh, another key to unlock the computer. Uh, you should just use Lua to to find the key that you, that you like, or just write a simple program which uh, which will um, uh, find and uh, well just display the key you are pressing. Uh, yes. So remember to make uh, the program in startup. Paste bin. Put door connecting to paste bin and there you go there you have my paste bin code if you want this code uh, it doesn't bother to, to program yourself just um, use paste bin get and write this as it stands and you'll get the code and uh, it will work as long as you build it exactly the same way as, as I did I hope you like this and uh, if you want me to make more tutorials or have an idea of uh, something uh, you want me to make a tutorial of, uh, just leave a comment and I might do it. Just don't make any insane requests. Uh, this is the easier one. I do uh, have uh, another idea with this one because um, uh, uh, as as you see uh, now you have to uh, to program the name into every computer door um i do have an idea where you can set up a user server uh, where the computer actually will uh, send a message to the user server and ask uh, if um, if they have access to this current door and then you can just in one uh, on one computer you can um, add the names uh, as as you want to okay and uh I'll thank you for watching and a like will be pretty much appreciated. Uh, see you next time.